Hey, everybody, for joining us today, Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we're with J.P. Sweet. He's from the Lake of the Woods Fair, Minnesota. Is that right? J.P., are you there? Oh, we lost him. J.P., I lost your audio. <clears throat> I lost you on everything, bud. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll do it again. Hey, thanks, everybody, for joining us today on Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we're with J.P. Sweet from Lake of the Woods Fair, Minnesota. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Just about okay. as uh, far north in Minnesota as you can get to, my are friend. You, uh, are, you, are you freezing cold, or is it thawing out a little bit this week? Well, uh depends what you're – uh, definition of freezing cold is so it's uh, definition it just, of freezing cold is, is 40 below. Where are you at today? Uh, how about about uh, 25 above today? So, oh, it's not so huge. bad, yeah, absolutely. JP, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up and tell us about your association with the fair? Well, I, I grew up in this uh, wonderful little town here on the Canadian border, Bodette, Minnesota. That's where our fair is up here, the Lake of the Woods County Fair. If uh, you ever been to Lake of the Woods? Uh, that would be one of the largest walleye fisheries in uh, in the country, as well as uh, the northernmost part in the continental United States. Okay. Um, we have the Northwest Angle here. That's why I say that. Uh, I've been with the fair now for uh, five years. Okay. I'm the vice president of the uh, Fair Board Association up here now. So uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah. No, very good. Tell us a little bit about your fair. What is it? If somebody walks on the campus of your fairgrounds during fair week, what are they going to see? What are they going to smell? What are they going to feel? Well, they're definitely going to feel a small town charm. Um, we are the smallest county in Lake of the Woods. So <laughs> a, lot, a lot of small town, you know, it's, it's a great, uh, great get together, friends, family. It's kind of the uh, great county get together. They call the state fair here the uh, great Minnesota get together. We like to look at ourselves as the great county get together because <laughs> it's a it's a great way to you know catch up with your friends and family great great small town entertainment uh we, we do the best we can up here uh to put on a great county fair for our uh, people because we are a long way from uh yeah. like minneapolis for example we are a ways from getting to see uh big town entertainment if you will we try to bring some of that to our uh, small town folk up here and uh, give families something to do every uh, every July and something to look forward to. Very good. What What are some of the events that you have annually every year at the fair? Uh, we we definitely have a great 4-H here in Lake of the Woods County. Uh, they work very hard year round to put uh, put together their stuff for the fair, their shows and everything. They work very hard on that, and uh, we annually do a demolition derby, as I think most county fairs do. But that seems like it kind of dies off at some places now, and uh, we do uh, car races as well, but we try to bring in one uh, special attraction grandstand event every year too. So, very, very cool, very cool. So, um, did you do 4-H as a youngster? I I did not. So it's kind of funny how I got involved with the uh, county fair up here. Uh, I, I've raced cars up here for many, many, many years, uh, doing the uh, dirt track oval races we do up here at our fairgrounds and. Uh, I actually, uh, about five or six years ago, I had a car and the uh, tire came off of it and hit the fence. Oh man! And the guy that uh, the guy that was running the show, a member of the fair board, said, "Well, you got two options: you can uh, apologize to myself in person, or you can come to the fair board meeting and apologize for wrecking their fence." And uh, turns out, I didn't have to do either. He just wanted another guy to join the fair board, so I got <laughs> in, got involved, and uh, here we are, six years later. Uh, I love it. I love every minute of that fair board. That's, that's, what are some moments for you that stand out in the past that you just realize, hey, this is something that needs to continue. This is something that's important to you and makes your uh, makes you feel of worth to the fair board in in the people that come in. Well, actually, to me, it's uh, it's going way back to even before I was on a fair board. Like I, I've always been a fair person. 
I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I was a little kid, one of the biggest like days of the year to me when I was a little kid was when we get our fair premium book in the mail. Uh, I, I love that feeling of just reading that, even though I that wasn't a four H kid. I still read the rules. I still read all the rules. Want to know it's awesome. coming to the fair and that that little excited feeling I got as a little yeah. kid. That that's something that I want to make sure that future generations get to uh get to hopefully enjoy so that that's a big reason why i stare at that fair board and a big reason why i kind of know it's uh it's something special to be a part of something like that yeah that that's i think people that don't grow up in a in a very rural area don't appreciate um just how big the fair really is I and mean, for a lot of people it's their only vacation it's their only trip to town every year uh, it really is impactful as it goes through there. JP, thanks for what you do. All right. I'm a live music guy. I'm in entertainment. So I got to know two fun questions from you. Number one, what is the best concert you've seen your entire life ever? Well, I'm a big concert guy myself. I go to a lot of shows, a lot of festivals every year. Yep. Um, I'll, in fact, I'll give you the location. Okay. Uh, everything. Uh, I would have to say to me, it's Eric Church at We Fest, Detroit Lakes. In 2012, okay. he played right before Alabama. He came out and uh, he had a bottle of Jack Daniels in his hand. He said, well, I would like to apologize to Alabama, but uh, this is the best show you're going to see all night. He slammed the bottle back, snapped it on the stage, and started playing. And it was one of the best best festival shows I've ever seen. And to watch that crowd kind of react to that was awesome. Oh, man. Very cool. All right. Dead or Alive, you could bring one act to Lake of the Woods Fair Money's not an issue. Who you bring in for your people? Oh man! First off, in the alive category, I think I would be. Uh, I think I'd be shunned if I didn't say Morgan Wallen because he's kind of the hot ticket right now to everybody. But uh, right, right. dead or alive, a dead, a dead or alive man. I, who who wouldn't want to see Johnny Cash? Yeah, yeah. Dead or alive changes things. It does. It does. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. JP, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you. How do people find out more about Lake of the Woods Fair if they want to take a trip this summer and come up and see what you guys have right up there by Canada? Well, uh, you can visit us online at lotwfair.com. Uh, this is our 100th anniversary of our Lake of the Woods County ah, Fair. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, big, big, big deal up here for this community. we got Hairball coming, speaking of concerts. Uh, that'll be the first concert we've had up here in 23 years at wow. a fair grandstand so we're excited for that on uh, friday night july 14th those tickets are available now if anybody's looking at midwesttix.com i'd be remiss if i didn't say that of course cheap <laughs> plug but that's what i'm here for um we uh we have a facebook page as well l-o-w county fair and facebook check us out guys come up and see us up here we're a long ways up here but uh use this as an excuse to come uh, catch some potentially trophy walleye and uh, enjoy a small town county fair absolutely absolutely jp thanks for joining us i appreciate it thank you well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of-